CIA is slamming a report by CNN claiming President Trump could have jeopardized a Russian informant's safety. Yeah, huge story here. The CIA calling it, quote, misguided and inaccurate. Pretty damning response there. Kevin Cork is live at the White House with more on the conflicting reports, one from CNN, one from the New York Times. And, Kevin, it all has to do with why the CIA called back into the United States a spy. You're right on the money. And this report out of CNN, by the way, was fronted and sourced by Jim Shudo. You probably have seen him on the air. He is a former Obama administration official and a frequent critic of President Trump. Now, the CNN report claimed that the CIA removed a top spy from Russia over fear that they could be compromised by President Trump, that the U.S. intelligence community didn't feel like it could fully trust the commander-in-chief to keep spies safe. A disturbing revelation certainly was the suggestion, but the CIA's director of public affairs pushed back hard, calling it misguided speculation that the president's handling of our nation's most sensitive intelligence, which he has access to each and every day, drove an alleged exfiltration operation is inaccurate. Now, you also mentioned the New York Times. They're also talking about this. Former intelligence officials said there was no public evidence that Mr. Trump directly endangered the source. And other current American officials insisted that media scrutiny of the agency's sources alone was the impetus for the extraction. Now, I want to make it simple for the people who don't live in the Beltway of Washington. The suggestion that the president may have perhaps compromised the identity and or sources and methods is not a new charge by some on the left. What is new here is you have the New York Times saying it's probably not true, certainly taking aim at that report by CNN, as I'm certain the president and the White House will do as well. We'll talk more about this throughout the day. Uh, by the way, speaking of the day, we have a very full day today. The president will be speaking in front of uh, historically black colleges and universities at an event later today. He'll also today uh, meet with congressional Republicans, and there is an ambassador swearing in as the new ambassador to the U.N. Is hailed by the president. That and much more on a very busy day here at the White House. But for now, guys, back to you. Indeed. So, so Kevin, just for recap, what CNN said was this particular spy was uh, asked to leave the country, Russia, come to the United States because the worry was that Donald Trump uh, could expose him as a spy. And then the New York Times says the reason this guy was called back, and it was before he actually was sworn in as president. Right. was because this guy apparently provided some really good intel about Russian meddling in our election. You're right on the money. And also keep this in mind, when you read that piece uh, in the New York Times I'm speaking of, understand that they do a great deal of digging on the suggestion by CNN. I thought it was a revealing piece, and I think a lot of people will find it interesting. If you have a couple of minutes today, give it a look. Guys, so they had a whole day just to beat up on the president about a story that uh, maybe not have been true at yep. all. Uh, Kevin, thank you very much. I also thought it was interesting that the president of the United States was asked about it. He said, listen, the CIA put a statement out. It was a perfect statement. Right. That's it. I'm done. A lot of times he would sit there and harp on it. If you said, saw it, they've responded, I'm moving.